So, so basically what can happen is when you're bouncing in ruts and stuff, the, the kickstand can drop and cut out in the middle of your ride, which is not what you want when you're hitting the off-road. Hey, hey, so today I am doing a kickstand switch or sensor relocation kit from Rottweiler. A um, few tools I need. I need a T25, a little wrench, I got a 3mm Allen key and a 10mm, uh, whatever you call this fucking thing, a wrench, yeah, good. Um, or you can use a socket, but I just pulled this out because it's easy. Anyhow, so basically this is what's in the pack is everything we need to relocate. Now, you might be asking, well, why are you relocating? Um, and so basically there's an issue on these bikes where you hit something or whatever happens and you take out your kickstand sensor um, and then your bike doesn't run on the trail. So that's a huge bummer if that happens. Um, so we're going to go ahead and relocate it. Let's do this. Ninja? <laughs> Should make life easier. Okay, so the next piece of the puzzle is removing this guy. So how this works is when the magnet makes contact, your bike will start. If it doesn't make contact, she won't start. So we're going to open up our package here. We are going to install the magnet in... Take the magnet that I got just got off the bike. It's going into this guy right here. With the nuts on the other side. Now I'm probably going to lock. Oh, it's a locking nut, so that's good. Having two 10 millimeters is a, is a good thing. So I'll just tighten that up snug. Okay, so orientation. Can you close here? Orientation is like this. At this piece. Like this. Okay. Then we just pop these little guys in here. Which I think I might lock tight these in, to be honest. And okay. Bit of lockies. I think you might have dried her out here, boys. Oh, I fucked it. Okay, a little bit of lock tight in the end there. Sweet. Okay, so we got these in. I'm just going to tighten them up just a wee bit. I don't want to go ham on it because it's just a little sensor. Okay. So next thing we're doing is grabbing this little guy here. I'm doing that. Me. So it's quite a challenge with one hand, I won't lie. 
I need both hands. So, so basically what can happen is when you're bouncing in ruts and stuff, the, the kickstand can drop and cut out in the middle of your ride, which is not what you want when you're hitting the off-road. So that's kind of the game plan here. If this stupid thing would just like release now, that'd be great. Okay. That's that out the way, that's that out the way. Now come back here. Okay, so I've just removed the bolt from here. This now kicks up here somehow. I'm gonna lock tight this little guy as well. I don't want this coming off. Because that'll ruin your day just as good. So this is fairly annoying. So they say you can cut this piece off. I'm just trying to keep things original. And try to get this in here. And that's not very easy to get in there because it's quarters. Oh, nice. Lock title over the lens, probably. So now we're just going to go up. So we just want this fucker out the way. This scrummet thing is fucking annoying as shit. And that is relocation complete. Can you believe it? If you enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed watching me struggle along with things I haven't done before, give me a like, give me a follow. Come on down. Thanks for watching. Uh, I have a bunch more videos that I've done on this and I think one of them is the exhaust. The cat delete on this bike which makes it sound way better and causes way less heat in and around this area here. So I'll try and get to that one. Anyways, like, subscribe and then you won't miss out. Ciao.